And we have a hyena. Isn't that awesome? Now, I can't see exactly which one it is, so all our hyena followers out there, if you can let us know who this is, hashtag Safari Live on Twitter. But you, most of you would already know that if you're following the hyenas. Now, it is just coming across the bush, and it's coming from that same area again. It's coming from sort of Shabamu pans, and they seem to use that road, and then they come up Weaver's Nest, go towards Treehouse Dam, so I wonder if their den is not somewhere in this area. And you can see they're on their nightly patrol, and I'm pretty sure that this hyena is going to pick up the scent of that leopard from this morning, and will be following along. There is a bit of a breeze blowing, so let's just see where it goes. Unfortunately, often with hyenas, it's just fleeting glimpses when they're moving like this at night, because they move so quickly, and they go through areas that are quite difficult for us to negotiate. As you can see on the right here, it's very very, very thick. Hello little one. Where are you off to? Now it is heading exactly where Hosanna was this morning. So I wonder if it's not worth just trying to see if we can't keep up with it a little bit and see if it takes us somewhere. I'm gonna try and just see. I want obviously we're trying to find the den again because it seems like there's been very little action at the den itself. So I'm trying to see if maybe we can work out, but it's coming from the west, which is, Jamie and I were having a long discussion about it today as to where we think this den could be. Now, there should be a little gap in here somewhere where I can maybe just try and get in. And I still have the belief that it's somewhere around Treehouse Dam, maybe to the south of Treehouse Dam or north of Treehouse Dam. We weren't sure which one, but somewhere in that area. Now, where we had Osana, what's that in the road over there? That's an Impala. So I thought maybe it was something else. But let's see where our hyena goes. I wonder if it's going to pick up that scent of Hassan. Isn't this exciting? I always love following hyenas. They always seem like they're up to something. It's such a cool animal to follow. And this looks like a fairly young hyena. It's got very, very, very rounded ears. There's no tattiness on the ears at all. So it seems like a hyena that's fairly young. Oh, I haven't been able to establish if it is a male or female yet. They're very, very difficult to tell whether it's male or female. Oh, oof. You know, why did you run into this? So this is exactly where we had Hosanna this morning. He walked from my left to my right here. But this hyena's run into a thicket that I don't think I'm going to be able to follow. Let's just try through here, Seb. That's exciting. Now, Kirst, you were asking me a question prior to our hyena, which I seem to have lost a sighting of. So if you want to... Uh, so Lula from New Mexico, you want to know where the Incahumas and the sticks are. So the Incahumas, as far as I know, there was tracks of them on Buffalo's Hook yesterday, but nobody found them. So I think they're hanging around southern Manuleti at the moment, a little bit into Buffalo's Hook, and sometimes they're going into Simbambili as far as even Elephant Plains. Now that's where they're kind of moving around. So they are still around and the last time I heard there were still all five females and six cubs so they were doing just fine. And it's very, very common for them not to be around this area at this time of the year. Often in summer the Inkahumas shift up into Buffalo's Hook and Manuleti where they go and hunt the buffalo herds that are up there. And as those buffalo herds then start pushing down in the winter months well, after they've exhausted the resources up there, then the Inkahumas file back in and we start to see them on Juma again. Remember we're not seeing very many buffalo at all and no herds of buffalo which would have brought the Inkahumas is this way. Um, as for the sticks, the sticks were seen yesterday on Vessels. Now Vessels is a property to the south of us. It's probably about three kilometers south of us. I know one female was found this afternoon with a Birmingham male on Hoffmans, so that is a little bit west of Vessels, and it's between sort of Mala Mala and Juma, and they've been hanging around that area, and then also into a little bit into Annette's where they've got the cubs. So that's where they really have been, a little bit south of sort of Chitwa Dam area, and have been hanging around there. But it's not to say that they won't come this way. It's now with those small cubs at the end of the day they have to spend time in a very localized area as once those cubs get a little bit bigger then we'll start to see them venturing further afield right i think we've lost our hyena it's gone into a really thick area that we're not going to be able to follow so while we kind of get ourselves out of this